Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Animotion. Today we're gonna create an 80s retro filter that looks like VHS kind of style. And we're not gonna use any plugins, so all of the effects that we're gonna use are all default in Adobe After Effects. So, I have the scene. The scene is basically, I created it from my previous tutorial, which is a 3D camera uh, basic technique. And if you wanna learn how to do basic camera technique, go back to my previous tutorial. Otherwise, I've already created a link in the description and you can download the project file. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is to create a grid floor. So go to new and go to solid and type in grid, leave it as white. And grid is basically, I just think like grid floor is kind of like giving it like an 80s kind of like look. So go to your effects, type in grid and drop that in and turn your grid layer into 3d layer by clicking this icon and then rotate it on the x-axis to 90 to make it look like it's a uh, grid floor and just bring it down just make sure it's underneath um, all of the triangles to make sure if it's all underneath the all of the triangles go to two views horizontal make sure your view is front and yeah it's underneath the other layers go back to one view and I'm just gonna scale this up to 700 so that it looks like the floor is infinity let's go to the last frame and you see that the floor kind of like ends there so we're gonna move that backwards all right now we want to um, scale down the grids because it looks gigantic and in order to do that, just adjust the corner, just like that, however you want. And I'm going to turn the border down to two to make it more subtle. All right, now put your grid layer underneath the triangles. And then the next thing I want to do is to select all of the layers except the background layer. And then right click on that and select pre-compose. Pre-compose, if you don't know what it is, it's basically just creating another composition inside the composition. So we're gonna name that pre Retro. Next thing is to duplicate this layer twice. And we're gonna put um, shift channels on each of the layer to create that chromatic aberration. And name this R for red, J for green, and B for blue. And then in your effects, type in shift channels drop that in drop that on the red layer first and all you need to do is just to leave the take red from red and turn the green and blue to full off and just leave the alpha to alpha and then copy that place that in green do the same thing but this time turn the red to full off and turn the green on and same thing paste that on the blue and same thing just turn the red to full off and take the blue from blue. I know it looks horrible, that's because um, the mode is on normal. You need to just change that to uh, screen mode and yeah, that's it. But you haven't seen the chromatic aberration. That is because you have to offset two of the layers. So I'm gonna move the red layer to the left and there you go. You have your chromatic um, aberration and then the blue as well, but this time to the right. And yeah, you just have to um, adjust the position however you like it. Next thing is to add some grain. So right click new and go to adjustment layer. So type in grain and look for add grain. Drop that in. And at the moment, it's just previewing this section because your viewing mode is just on preview. I'm going to put that to final output and it's um, applying to the whole scene. Usually I would just work on intensity, but you can play around with other stuff too. So if I turn up the intensity to five, it's going to be so grainy and um, I don't want that. Um, I think it's just way too grainy. So I'm actually going to turn it down to 0 0.5 and it's just subtle grain. And you can turn up the size to to five, for example, I'll just show you how it looks. But basically it's just scaling up the size of the grain which makes it really ugly and um, pixelated so i'm gonna turn it back to one all right so that's done the next thing is to create this effect called posterize time so create another adjustment layer again and 
call it posterize time type in posterize time here drop that in and what posterize time does is basically it's turning um, the frame rate of your composition to whatever you change it to be so for example if we right click on your composition go to composition settings my frame rates per second is 25 at the moment the posterize time is set to 24 so basically it's changing my composition to 24 per second um, but we want to turn it down like really low so if, like even like 10 basically what it does it skips some of the frames and it makes your composition looks um, jittery all right that's a preview of the comp it looks like it's lagging but it's actually it's the posterized time that does it um yeah um if you don't like the look of it you don't have to do it but i like it because it makes it looks like it's vintage and old the next thing you want to do is to type in play so go to your text tool type in play and I have this font called VCR OSD Mono and it just looks um, like uh, it's a VHS font. Then the next thing is to create a vignette. In order to create a vignette, you basically just have to use solid. And let's try black color. I'm not sure how well it will work because like our scene is already, already dark. But let's try that. And type in vignette. If you go to your um, shape tool here, click and hold and go to ellipse tool and basically as long as you select your layer double click on it and it creates a shape on your layer but we want to invert this and then i'm actually gonna turn it um, my view down to quarter because my computer is being a bit slow and hit f on your keyboard that's for mask feather and just bring it up to 500. all right it looks pretty cool but um as, as i said because our scene is already dark so uh, it just makes the whole thing looks really dark so i'm gonna change that to white so click on your vignette layer hold on to Control shift y to open solid setting i'm just gonna change it to white it looks pretty full on i'm just gonna scale up the mask so basically uh just double click on your mask and then just you know enlarge it and even turn down the opacity to 65 maybe or even 50 yeah that looks much better and we're gonna put the vignette layer underneath the play layer one thing that i forgot to tell you is to create a glow so we want to create the glow inside the precom so if you double click on one of the rgb layers and um, create an adjustment layer and call it glow Go to your effects, type in glow, drop that in, and you've created a glow. Um, usually I would just play around with the radius and intensity. So I'm just going to try 25 on the, inten on the radius, sorry. Even 40 actually. Yep, that looks uh, more glowing. Now if you click on this icon, you can go back to your main composition. I'm actually going to move the red a bit more. Okay, not that much, maybe that much. And the blue more to the right as well to give it um, more chromatic aberration effect. You got your 80s retro filter now. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate um, to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.